Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter D. Master of Hobbit. Today, joined by Henry the General of Gizzy. Pre recording something. Mm -hmm. Because I think this will not air until Barley Wemper, because <laughs> I actually have a lot of barley wine, and I think I can do a month of only barley wine. <laughs> nice. So, if we start reviewing now, we can do a month of barley wine. So, we're doing a barley wine for Barley Wemper. Hashtag Barley Wemper. Shout out to beer bloggers at DK. Uh, Awesome dudes, I've met most of you guys, mm -hmm. at least quite a lot of you guys. Uh, so we're drinking some barley wine. This is from the States, and this is something I picked up in the States online, actually, and had it sent over a while back on Tavour. Mm -hmm. This is from Fanta Flora Brewery, and this is their 22 Periodic Motion. It is a bourbon barrel aged barley wine on 12%. Aged in Buffalo Trace bourbon barrels, I believe. It's made with a local variety of barley. So a local barley malt and then uh, some fantastic crystal malts from all over the globe, it says. Mm. What it is, it was Buffalo Trace for over a year. And it's a different selection of Buffalo Trace barrels. I fucking love barley wine. Same. Amazing style, uh, but they have to be barrel aged. I, it's nice to drink a barley wine that's not barrel aged once in a while, but... Mm. It shines it's in barrels. It's just not the same. It shines in barrels. Mm. So let's dive into this one. So pours. Not pitch black, but no. very dark brown. Dark brown. Yeah. Could indicate it's a barley wine that's been boiled for a long time, maybe. I don't mm. know. Or maybe it's just the layering of dark crystal malts that gives this dark color. But it's like a really deep, yeah. dark mahogany. But it's more dark than mahogany brown. Almost what would you call that? Like Coke. It does. <laughs> A little bit of beige head, not tons of carbonation, even though it actually fizzed up. And I was thinking, yeah. oh no, what's going on here? Is this going to be a gusher? Is, it, is this funky? I don't think so. But they make funky beers. <laughs> I really hope we don't have cross contaminations here. But uh, it looks like a barley wine should. Tan yeah. head, let's take out the aroma. Mm. Oh. Uh, delicious. Lots of oak, lots of bourbon, mm. leather, yeah. caramelized figs, chocolates. Yeah, there's a touch of chocolate or something like that. Mm. Yeah. To be 100% fair, this actually reminds me a lot of uh, Colossus. <laughs> Your own beer. <laughs> yeah, not to be a dick, but... I, I, I can see that, yeah. There's similarities. True. It's the same level of richness in the aroma. It's mm. not like that crazy yeah. decadent... Like, it's yeah. not a top to your barley wine. Yeah. I think it, it's not as good as like a deal with the devil on some of these crazy ones where it just bursts out of the glass. Um, at least on the nose. But... yeah. Yeah, it I can. I, really nice. I can. I can see that. I mean, I actually had Colossus only like a few weeks ago. Oh, so um, I think Colossus might be a little bit more boozy. Yeah, a bit more boozy, and yeah. I think Colossus maybe a bit more sweet as well in aroma. Yeah. Uh, this is almost got like the Bourbon County style mm. barley, barley wine. Yeah, uh, nu nuances. Mm. Uh, lots of uh, charry wood, uh, vanilla, oak, creamy van uh, vanilla custardy almost mm. nuances. Fudgy, very fudgy, caramelly. Caramel sauce, yeah, uh, a bit of dark fruit. It definitely smells like uh, to me English style barley wine. Uh, yeah, it just says barley wine on the label, but let's try it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, lots of barrel, lots of actually almost like a, a chocolate toffee or something like that. Yeah, reason. Mm -hmm. But mm. it's actually not as rich as I thought it'd be. No. Like, I like barley wine to be a little bit more rich. I mean, this yeah. is um, super barrel forward. Mm. Smooth, warming, but the level of sweetness is not like, like it's more, it's, it's got a decent amount of like dryness and dry yeah. woody, dark fruit. It's got quite a bit of dryness. And also come some, um, uh, like a resin, uh, like, what's it called? Dry, uh, Raisins, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm also getting a bit of licorice, yeah, like bassets, yeah, all sorts, yeah, yeah. Um, licorice and raisins, yeah, bassets, all sorts, like uh, mm. uh, uh, Confect. Mm. but it's yeah. really good. Lots of warming yeah. bourbon, uh, mm. vanilla, lots of oak as well, lots of wood, uh, mm. charry wood. But I actually like that it, it's not like cloyingly sweet as mm. well. It's still probably finishing really high, but I think mm. something that cuts the sweetness mm. is the barrels. Mm. Um, that's the big thing. Like with barrel aging, you need beers that are somewhat sweet yep. to uh, stand the time in barrels uh, for the booze not to be making the beer too dry and yeah. too sharp. Yeah. Um, and this is like, yeah, it's really good. I think this is actually a 
good entry level barley wine mm. because it's uh, it's not as over the top and crazy as some of the really mm. insane ones. Like if we take take a deal with the Devil from Anchorage, which I think is one of the very best, uh, double oak or triple oak. Um, like that is just like dripping bourbon <laughs> saturation. Like that might be too much for your first barley wine. But if you yeah. want to try bourbon barrel aged barley wine, this is a good place to start because there's yeah. a, it's not as over the top. No. But there's a lot of flavor. If you've never had a barley wine before and you try this, you're going to be like, wow, there's a lot of flavor. <laughs> you're going to be, that's a lot of flavor. Yeah. <laughs> as my dad would say, mm. <laughs> made, huh? <laughs> quite leathery as well on the back end and surprisingly licorice. But mm. then mostly like it's like almost like a, a slightly burnt toffee or burnt caramel. Yeah. Um, then yeah. there's the vanilla. Uh, body I'd say is medium. Yeah. Slick. It's almost like it's it is maybe full bodied, but just lighter side but, of. Flavor. But I mean, it's it's easy. It's quite easy to drink. Yeah. To be honest, I mean, carbonation is pretty good too. Like it's not like yeah. too high, but yeah. it shouldn't also be higher. I think. It's a lovely body wine. It's a, it's lovely, yeah. But it's not blowing my mind. No. As I hoped, because I think Fantaflora makes some really nice stuff. But mm. it's, um, yeah, it's not to the level of like the Anchorage and, um, yeah, if that's just my, like, I deal with the devil is like my favorite. I'm just trying to remember what other body wines are crazy uh, that I've had in recent years. And I can't now. Colossus. Because I'm put on the spot. <laughs> no, no. I think actually Colossus is somewhat similar to this. Maybe a tad sweeter. A tad uh, sweeter, yeah. But uh, and it's technically it's not my own beer because it was I brewed know, before I, I started I, I at the know, brewery. I know, I know. So it's okay to bring it in. Oh, I shouldn't. Um, but I think it's really, really, really good. It's not world class party wine, but it's a great party wine. Uh, mm. It's like a ninety three, ninety four, or something like that. I mean, really nice, really enjoyable. Um, yeah, if you love party wine, you're gonna love it. Yeah, but I could use more like layers of complexity, more sweetness, mm. uh, maybe even more of that like <coughs> pop of barrel. Yeah. Even though there's a good amount of barrel, but it's also 22 vintage, so it's been sitting for about a year. Mm. I think when was it bottled? February, so it's over a year old. And I am taking some more. Go ahead. It's only batch two, so they're probably getting better at it. Still, lovely, lovely barley wine. Yeah, it is. What do you think of the uh, grade? A bit of coconut too. Mm. Mm, 92, three, two, three. Something like that, yeah. I mean, I think it's definitely early 90s. It's not completely world-class, but it's just great for late beer. So, yeah, that does mm -hmm. it for the review of Flo Flanta. Flanta. <laughs> Flanta Flora. Flanta Flora's <laughs> Periodic Motion. Lovely label there with the chameleon skull. Yeah. Uh, check it out if you can. They have a lot of variants of it now as well. I think different barrels and whatnot. Uh, and Flanta Flora makes some uh, awesome, awesome beers in uh, North Carolina. I think it's, yeah, North Carolina. Uh, great. So if you guys had a chance to try this one, let us know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up, enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And uh, stay tuned for more Barley Wines and Barley Wimber. <laughs> yeah, a month of Barley Wines coming up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I should be able to do it. We'll see. Yeah. And uh, yeah, see you guys in another beer review.